welcome to Wild Flora. If you're new here, I love to talk all things crochet, knitting, and handmade jewelry. In this video today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you my fall goals for my market, as well as some pattern ideas and fall inspiration for your market booths. I'm super excited because this is the first year that I'm doing anything fall related at my booth. So it's gonna be new to me displaying my fall items at my markets this year. And I hope this video also gives you some inspiration on pattern ideas and market booth designs. And then I'm also gonna be sharing with you the items that I've already been making and what my plans are for uh, crocheting this fall. Um, so we're gonna get started. Of course, a fall video wouldn't be a fall video without pumpkin patterns, of course. The first pattern is this beautiful orange plaid pumpkin. I think it is super adorable. It's definitely a little bit different compared to just like an original orange pumpkin or solid color pumpkin. So I think this would be a really great pumpkin to add to your booth because it is different. I think customers really like something that is absolutely unique, handmade, and something that cannot be found at Home Goods or Target. So I think it is a lovely pattern. It looks like it'd be very easy to crochet as well, and it only uses three colors. Um, and then the next one is another pumpkin, and this pumpkin is actually my design. So this is a twist on a granny square pumpkin. Um, I think the granny square pumpkins are really adorable, but my problem with them is they tend to have lots of holes. So I'm always afraid that if I were to make it, that stuffing would come out of it. So I think this is a nice little twist on a classic granny square pumpkin. And then I also added a suede top to it instead of a cinnamon stick. So I think this would be a great, a great addition to your market. And I know pumpkins are super popular at this time of year, and I think an awesome addition to that would be acorns. So this is not a crochet pattern, but I think it would be something that you could easily turn into a crochet pattern. It's so beautiful, and I love how they actually use the acorns as a garland as well. And I think that would be pretty nice to have a little acorn garland over your chimney, or even like a pumpkin garland. I think that would be so nice to make. And then I also like these acorns. These are fabric acorns, but I love how they used twine at the top of the acorn. So I think that would be really pretty to add like a crochet bottom and then the twine top to it. I really like those. This little crocheted pine cone is also super cute. I think you can do a little combination of pumpkins, acorns, and pine cones. That's super adorable. And it doesn't look like it's, it would take too long to make either, which is a plus when it comes to making items for your market. And the next pattern that I really, really love and I really wanna make myself is this MJ off the hook granny square or I think it's not even granny square. I think it would call a granny stripe basket. It's super adorable and I think you can add cute little, um, you can even display it at your booth and add little pumpkins to it. Um, even for home decor, I think it would be super beautiful. I love that you could even change the colors of your basket and tailor it to any season of the year. You can make a red, green, and white one for Christmas. And for fall, of course, orange, greens, and browns would be really nice. Uh, and then the next one is actually one of my patterns as well, and it's a wreath. This is the bobble wreath. The pattern is not out yet, but it should be out within two weeks from this video uploading. Um, and so if it is available, I will have it linked down below in the description. And I think it is absolutely beautiful and it whips up very quickly. It took me, I would say no more than like 30 minutes. If you're a slow crochet or maybe like an hour. Um, and I think they're absolutely beautiful and you can pretty much add whatever whatever color bows you want to it. I have this one, and then I also have this one too. So I think these would look really cute. And, then, and the last item is this super sweet crochet snail. I think it is so adorable, and I love how you can actually put a planter inside of it, and I think it would be really beautiful um, with like garden mums, since mums are like the biggest thing in fall. I think it would be pretty to sell, and also to just have at your booth 
just as a pretty decorative item. I think it's really nice and it looks like it wouldn't take too much time. I have not made it myself, but it looks like it would probably take no more than like an hour or two to work this up. Um, so now I'm gonna be showing you quite a few different ideas for your market and how you can display your product, whether it be pumpkins, um, plushies, the first one is this really pretty ladder shelf and I love how they displayed the pumpkins on it. It just has like a really sweet rustic look to it and you can even add aluminum buckets. I think that would be so sweet. I love how they flipped it over and they added the pumpkin on top. I think you could also flip it right side up and put hay in it and then add some pumpkins at the top of it. That would be super pretty. It would be a nice little showstopper. Customers will see it and want to start shopping. And I think it would be even cuter if you even made like orange pumpkins and people would think that they're real pumpkins. I like that. Like I like the concept of like a pumpkin patch without actual real pumpkins. They're all just crocheted. I, I love that. That would be really nice. And then the next inspiration is this really sweet signage for a corn maze but i think it would be really pretty to put something like this on a smaller scale on your table and directing everybody to one side could be your pumpkins and the other side could be your plushies and another side could be beanies and also adding just different kinds of baskets wicker baskets um, wooden baskets i think that would be very very nice and you can pretty much just lay anything inside of them I think a great way to find inspiration is outside of your craft. Um, so since fall's coming, I think looking at pumpkin patches, apple orchards, and storefronts to see how they're designing their merchandise. So that way you can gain some ideas on how you can create that sort of fall atmosphere for your customers. So it really invites them in and makes them want to shop. And I think also curating your product to all have a very, similar aesthetic is very helpful too. I think that will definitely uh, bring in more more customers too. I was in the retail business for like 10 years, so definitely um, merchandising is something that I really enjoy doing. So I love being able to figure out how I can elevate my booth. Your booth says a lot about you and your product. And I think you could sell even more by just having a more aesthetically pleasing booth to your customers and figuring out ways to invite your customer in and creating that experience for them. When you think about like pumpkin patches and going to apple orchards and picking apples and picking your pumpkins, those locations tend to really create an experience for you. So as you're driving by, you want to stop and buy something just because of the way it looks. So it's the same as your booth is, just imagine someone you know someone is driving by your booth and you got to figure out a way to get them to stop and look at your booth. I hope some of these ideas have inspired you and maybe are creating some ideas in your head on how you can decorate your booth this year for the fall and winter season. So next I'm going to be showing you the items that I am crocheting right now and how many I want to make. Well, how many I think I'll be able to make because I'm gonna be out of town for most of September, so pretty much like the beginning and the end of September is the only time I have to crochet things. So I've already started working on stuff. It's really important that I find patterns that are not super time consuming, but are gonna be, that are going to produce a really beautiful product. Um, so the first item is the pumpkin that I've already shown you. It's this beautiful uh, granny, faux granny square pumpkin, because it's not really the granny square stitch. Um, the granny stitch, but it's similar to it. So I think that is absolutely lovely. This took me about, I would say 20 minutes max to make. So I think it's a really great make. My goal is to be able to make maybe eight to 10 of these um, in, in varying sizes as well and different colors too. So I've got this one here and then I've already shown you my wreaths. So I've got these two here and I've actually got another wreath in a larger size too that I'm gonna be making. So those will be really nice to add. Um, I also am trying to figure out how I'm gonna display them because I really liked that ladder look, but also figuring out how I'm gonna hang these because you could probably hang them on the sides of like a, of a, la a ladder shelf. Um, but I've also seen people do like wire shelving. I just don't know how these are gonna 
get decorated. And in future videos, I'll be showing you like how I'm actually decorating everything. So look forward to those videos. Most likely sometime in October, I'll be posting all of those market vlogs of my fall booth. And then next up is um, beanies. So I've got these baby beanies here. I've got a candy corn beanie. And then I've got a pumpkin beanie. And I think they're super adorable. I actually used the Centro machine for this and they whipped up pretty quickly. They're very nice and I think they're perfect for fall and um, if you're gonna go do a pumpkin patch. I think it would be super sweet to have your children matching in either pumpkin beanie or a pumpkin beanie or a candy corn beanie. They're super adorable. You know I'm gonna definitely be doing that for my kids. <laughs> so it's these two. And then I'm also kind of working on figuring out if I want to add this to my booth. This is a super sweet granny square chicken. So she needs eyes. She doesn't have eyes on her. And I still need to sew her up. And I think she is super adorable and I love like that rustic farmhouse look. Um, and I think she definitely gives that vibe. And there are two granny squares that you just sew together and then you add this top part. I don't even know what this is called, but yeah, this top part and then the beak and then the eyes. But I'm working on figuring out if I want to add this to my booth, but not only in this type of color scheme, but also in like orange with green as like a pumpkin. I think that would be so cute, like a pumpkin chicken. I think that would be super cute to turn her into a pumpkin. <laughs> That's so cute. I love that idea. <laughs> I hope you guys gained some inspiration from this video. All of the patterns that I mentioned are going to be linked down below. And I hope you have a really incredible fall market prepping season. And I hope you sell out of everything. I will be talking to you guys very soon. Bye.